What's good everybody? It's your boy Dago Soul. Welcome back to another video. And today's video, as you guys have already saw, is going to be on the Jordan Retro 2 Decons in the Bordeaux colorway. Boom bam guys, there we go. The Jordan 2 Decon joints, man. These are nice. I am a fan of these. First off, I'm not a fan of Jordan 2s at all. That's how dope this shoe right here is to me. I got these because when I saw original picks, I was like, yo, those colors just stand out. Those are some dope pop colors. And I like louder things. So I was like, I need at least one of these pairs and I'll be straight. Now it was either gonna be these or the teal ones. Either one I would've been fine with, but I'm glad I got these. Only thing is, these are actually in 11, and because they do not have the inner padding, they are a little bit big, so I'm gonna have to get rid of these and find a 10 and a half, which sucks. But all right guys, enough of me talking. Let's get into the shoe, guys. So as you guys can see, there is a all suede upper, and that upper is all in that same Bordeaux colorway. The official colorway of this shoe is Bordeaux, Bordeaux. You guys can see the upper, the laces, the eyelets, and even the out and midsole are all that same color. And speaking of the outsole, we're going to have that same Jordan 2 outsole. Nothing changed there with the Jordan in the heel of the outsole. So these guys right here, they're, they're just the same thing. It's just a Jordan 2 without the additional padding in the inside and also without the leathers. You guys know Jordan 2s always have full leather, full grain leather uppers. These ones do not. They have that nice suede on the upper. And man, this shoe, what surprised me about this shoe is when you see it, you think it's gonna be light like a fly knit, but it's not. It's, it feels like a regular shoe. Now, it's definitely lighter than a regular too because there is no leather on there. It's just that suede, but it still does have some, some weight to this shoe right here. So it's not, you know, a dainty fly knit shoe whatsoever. So like I said, the upper and the outsole, midsole, they're all the same color. You have one singular color all over these and I like it. I really, really want to see those teal in person. I think they're dope because these right here, pictures and videos didn't always do them justice because they're just so nice in person. In this video, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like it's a lighter purple. When you see them in hand, it's like a dark purple wine-ish color. Like you could even say these are wine if you wanted to, as far as the shade goes. The laces, they are pretty nice. They kind of remind me of wax laces. They do have some very nice detail on them. As always with the Jordan 2, you still are going to have that Air Jordan and the basketball logo right there on the uh, tongue. Retail on these bad boys was 160 bucks. I was not able to cop them uh, stateside. Did get them from a store out in Germany called BSTN. Shout out to them. They ship very quick too, guys. I purchased these Wednesday night, like Tuesday night going into Wednesday. I want to say it was like somewhere around midnight here, and they got here Friday morning. These shipped super duper quick. Very happy. They came nicely packaged. So shout out BSTN for these joints. And, and the cool thing about these, Nike kept the two itself like i said they got rid of the leather but as you see on the toe box and around the front of the shoe they still have those preparations up there so nike did not change that at all they kept it true to form true to design still does have that nike on the heel of the shoe that is still there but overall i'm i'm happy with this shoe right here definitely came in a standard jordan box you guys can see with the black with the gold jump man nothing crazy there no crazy packaging which i was kind of like thought that was going to happen but no crazy packaging at all. And I know people have asked, I will not be doing a on foot with these because like I said, I did try them on already. They were a little bit big. And because I, you know, already tried on the right shoe, don't want to put on both shoes when I try to, you know, sell these or trade these to somebody because I don't want to give them a worn shoe. I know how a lot of people are. So one shoe tried on is not bad, but you try on both of them or, you know, people will get a little bit crazy. So these will not be an on foot, I apologize. But I hope the visuals in this video definitely do give you a good feel of the color the shape and the you know mold of the entire shoe and i hope you guys enjoy it once again it's your boy dago soul and i appreciate you guys for tuning in to another video and until the next time i am out peace